1973, I was directing at the Chateau de Ville Dinner Theater in Framingham, Massachusetts, <clears throat> doing a production of The Odd Couple, starring Milt Kamen and Stubby K. <laughs> After rehearsal on a thrust stage among gaudy chandeliers, tables set for 12, and strange meat smells coming, emanating from a kitchen somewhere in the dark, I went home and turned on the TV, and the Mary Tyler Moore Show was on. And it was this name after, directed by, Jay Sandridge. I saw it again after rehearsals for Never Too Late with Bob Cummings. Norman, is that you with Hans Conried? And yet another odd couple with Milt Kamen and Arnold Stang. Same staging, different Felix. Who is the Sandridge guy, I thought, and why are his shows funnier and have more heart than the others? Luckily, I got an, uh, an opportunity to come to LA and direct one show for MTM. And lo and behold, I got to put a face to that name and I, that I kept seeing on television. I got to observe on the Mary Tyler Moore show and saw firsthand Jay Sandridge's remarkable skills, his ability to be one with the actor, to invoke his incredible sense of humor, to create business that was just this side of a shtick, to lead with kindness, to listen, to make everyone feel part of the creative process, and especially in a writer-producer medium, to stand up to those writer guys respectfully and fight for what he and his actors thought was right for the moment. <clears throat> While Jay's route to directing was through production and I came from the theater, our sensibility and sense of humor were in sync. Our relationship was formed. We had other things in common. <clears throat> Both of us had famous show business fathers, and we were single and Jewish. <laughs> Occasionally, we would go to dinner at an LA hotspot. As the bromance grew, he took me to Gardena for poker <laughs> and Vegas for craps. So while I was learning cameras, I was also learning what a horn high ace deuce also was. <laughs> he also met his wonderful wife, Linda, through our relationship. Jay has won his share of accolades, including four Emmys and three DGA awards. His shows were groundbreaking. Mary Tyler Moore, Soap, Bob Newhart, The Golden Girls, and especially The Cosby Show. He also directed a successful movie, Seems Like Old Times. But like me, he loved the multi-camera world and what a world it was in those days. I consider him my mentor, although he refuses to acknowledge that. But I know if it weren't for his incredible trailblazing and his kindness to me, I would not be where I am today. The night of my directing debut uh, at Mary Tyler Moore, I was in the middle of a scene, and Ted Knight entered and flubbed a line. My head was spinning, trying to figure out what line to pick it up from so the show would cut. And I said, let's go back to Murray's line. And all of a sudden, I heard a majestic voice over the PA that said, take it back to Ted's entrance. And I thought God was talking. <laughs> I looked up in the booth, and unbeknownst to me, Jay was there, and I realized God was talking. <laughs> there, was no, there is no one who deserves to be in the Television Academy Hall of Fame more than my dear friend, Jay Sandridge, and all I can say is it's about time. It's my absolute pleasure uh, to show my mentor and friend his rightful place in our Television Academy Hall of Fame. Here to accept this honor on behalf of Jay Sandridge, please welcome his wife, Linda Sandridge. Thank you so much for introducing Jay and for being a part of bringing me together with him and for chaperoning my first trip to Vegas, during which I learned to play the hard numbers. <laughs> and thank you to the team that produced that great video package. There's, there was stuff up there that I haven't seen. <sighs> okay. There is so much that I would love to say about Jay, 
But those of you who know him or have seen his work know that he has always believed in pace. Pace, pace, pace. And since my job here is to represent him, I will stick to the script. Jay has asked me to read the following. I'm truly sorry I can't be with you in person tonight, but I definitely want you all to know how honored I am to be inducted into the Television Academy Hall of Fame. I've always said that if I had not become a director, I have no idea what career I would have chosen. I'm very glad I chose this one. I have loved it. Obviously, a director can't create good television, classic television, as a solo act. Good shows involve a good team, and in my nearly 50 years in TV, I've been so fortunate to work with many wonderful people. Brilliant writer, producers, gifted actors, and hundreds of talented, dedicated people behind the scenes. I thank them all. If I tried to name all the names, I would take up half the program, but there are a few people I would like to acknowledge, which you just saw Jay do, actually. Argyle Nelson, the production manager on I Love Lucy, who hired me as a second assistant director at my first interview for my first job in television, fresh out of the Army in 1956. Jack Aldworth, the first assistant on that show who took me under his wing and patiently taught me how to do the job. Grant Tinker, who took a chance on a young director and entrusted me with the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Ron Meyer, my trusted and trusting agent, who for many years, who's become a true friend for many more. He made me say this part. And Linda, my wonderful wife, <laughs> who has shared so much of this journey. Thank you to all have been a part of my very happy career to my friends, my colleagues, so many of whom are here tonight, and my deepest thanks to the Television Academy. Thank you from Jay and myself. <laughs>